Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to do a wireframe render in Maya 2018. Uh, wireframe renders are definitely useful for whatever objects you may be designing just so people can know what the construction looks like. So let's get started. You have your model here, obviously. It's right here. The first thing I like to do is click the Hypershade menu there. Bring up the... Here's the materials that I use to texture my model. I'm going to want to go into the Shading Groups tab. And if you have multiple materials, you're going to have multiple uh, shading groups. So you're going to have to adjust each one the same or different, depending on what you want. But you're going to have to enable contour rendering on each one. So you want to go to click on the shading group. Under Mental Ray, there will be contours. You're going to enable contour rendering. Pick a color that you like. I usually use something that I haven't used. I usually use 0.5. I'm going to use 0.5, especially this model. It's smooth. There's a lot of things going on. I'm, I'm not going to be able to see if I use a really thick line. The alpha and width adjust the, the thickness of your line and whatnot. So I'm going to do it pretty, pretty small. And you're going to have to do this with every single, uh, every single model that you have. Um, or every material that you have. If you only have one material on your model, then you'll be good. You only you only have one shading group to do this. But if you have multiple, like I said, you're gonna have to adjust each one. So I'm gonna leave these 0.75. So that's it. Looks like uh, they're all labeled there. They're all enabled. Enable contour running. So you can go ahead and close that tab. The next thing you're gonna want to do is do the render settings tab and go to quality and usually it's on unified sampling mode but that won't give you a wireframe render it's gonna you're gonna want it to be on legacy sampling mode after you do that hit the features tab go to the contours tab there enable contour rendering make sure that's checked and then go down to draw by property difference I usually use these two around all poly faces around silhouette but there's multiple options here that you can explore after you do that close and we'll render the current scene Let's see what we get here. so it's rendering and boom there you go you see that I have a wireframe render there you go you can save it out save it out on whatever you want whatever format you use boom there you go and simply if you want to go back to non wireframe renders just change your sampling mode to unified Render it again, and you guys will see that no wireframe render shows up. There's your model, boom. Well, there you go. There you guys go. Hope this helped you out. I know a lot of people struggle with this. It's one of those routine things in Maya where you just have to keep doing it to memorize it. But uh, to, that's the 2018 version of how to render a wireframe render with Mentor Ray.